Hi, my name is Shana Citrus. I'm a graphic designer and I do not own a laptop. And I'm gonna put this in parentheses yet. Um, I have, I, well, ever since I've been in the design career, which I started at, um, well, I'm also a photographer and right now I do a lot of video editing. And there, there's a lot of stuff I do with my beautiful baby right here, but I don't do it on a laptop. And I just wanted to have an open discussion about that because it seems like everyone nowadays is a laptop designer and runs around with their laptop with them at all points in time in their life. Um, I really like being able to leave this guy here and walk away from it. See, I'll just get off camera and I'm like, oh, I didn't have a computer anymore. It's gone. Um, I did, I've tried to get a laptop a lot <laughs> throughout the years. Uh, so here, I'll go over my, my computer history real quick. Um, I guess since I was about, let's see, maybe like between six and nine years old, somewhere in there. Excuse me, my parents got my first home computer. Um, it was a PC, and we went through a few PCs uh, throughout the years. I did have one crash and burn when I was 14, and I lost uh, my photos from back then, so I'm very, um, like, I'm like a super backup person now, so I don't ever have any more data loss. Um, but then I started working at a photography studio at 16, and it was on a um, one of these dudes, a Mr. Mac. Um, I did not like it because it was a PC. Oh, actually, I encountered a PC at 14, or a, one of these at 14, and I hadn't, I couldn't even use it. I was like, where is the internet? Like, I don't even see it. And I think they had their taskbar hidden down there, so that was, um, that was what was going on with that. And, um, I don't know, I didn't like it, and when I got to work, I didn't like it. And when I got to be, let's see, I was a freshman in college before I finally but was like, okay, I'm gonna invest, I'm gonna get a real computer, because I'd just been using my parents' PC as a shared computer. So I got my own dedicated computer, and um, it being a Mac made it actually a private dedicated computer because my parents didn't know how to use it. <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I, I don't even think I've tried to teach them. We'll like get on it every once in a while together, but I mean, basically they're like, Jenna, this is your computer, and we're gonna leave it alone. I don't know how to use it. And, it is, it's a little bit different and the transition was kind of rough for me, but once I got there, I mean I did it at a young age so I was pretty cool with it. Um, but I had my first one of these for four years and then this guy is getting, he's getting close to being, I think he's three years old right now, gonna be four this year. And I've been having some screen ghosting issues, like really intensely bad, so as much as I love Apple products and I want to endorse them right now, I'm like, why do you make me get a new computer every four years? Thanks guys. Um, so that was my other problem with getting a laptop. When I first was looking, gosh, I've been trying to get an Apple laptop for a long time. I finally ended up getting one last year, one of their 2018 models, and it was, it was fun, I guess. I liked that it had that little bar at the top that it was like, it was like a touch screen thing part of the keyboard. So, I mean, that was fun. It was like a neat feature. And I liked that when you were typing, it would pop up a word and suggest your auto button instead of like, a, I don't know, I guess you don't have that on a computer. But I mean, it was fun. It was kind of a little bit of a mix of a, um, like a tablet or a cell phone in there. So that was a fun thing. And I just, I could not justify spending $2,800 on something that I just throw in my backpack. So casually. I don't know. I just the price of their laptops and what I assume to be the shelf life of them just doesn't seem worth it. Although apparently for this guy, his shelf life is pretty right now. Also their resale value. Can I like say, say something for a minute? I want to say this computer was like three to four grand when I bought it, like seriously that much. And right now, I, if I sell it back, it's less than $500. It's like, oh my God. So depreciation is like, so when I was, when I bought that laptop, I had the extended like return frame, time frame on it and I kept it for 60 days and I was in um, Philadelphia for like a week and a half and I used it hot and heavy because I was staying by myself and I was just like getting a lot of computer work done, doing some live streaming and just doing stuff with it and I'm like, cool. And so I brought my hard drives with me. I was bopping along, working on my laptop, but then I get back home and I'll like travel back and forth to my parents' house, I'll be here, I'll like do small trips. I never broke it back out again until someone's like, don't you have a laptop? I'm like, mm, yeah, I do have one of those. <laughs> so I was not 
using it at all and I felt like that wasn't worth keeping it and it was just losing money as I kept it in my house so I did return it. Um, I'm not sure I, I, I keep talking back and forth of living a more mobile lifestyle where I will live in a city for a month at a time. I've not committed to doing this yet at all by any means because it's super expensive so I need to save up and get ready for it and plan it. But I think it'd be fun to like move into a community, work with artists and photographers, creators, models, and like be a part of a different community, although that didn't work so well here. <laughs> I didn't fit it. Or I didn't even, I don't know what happened here, but I'm glad I'm moving out of here. So, um, I don't know. I thought thought about that for a travel schedule instead of doing these uh, crazy week-long typical travels when I do my travel thing. Just go there for a month and be like, I live here now. So, I don't know, that could be, I mean, if I do that, I would have to get some sort of portable computer that doesn't, I don't know, like, I love you, but I don't know, what do you think? It thinks trash. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Um, I don't know what to do right now. But laptops just don't... Well, oh, here's another fun story. So I do go home for Christmas break from between like two to four weeks at a time. Like I go see my family and stay with them. And um, I had borrowed someone else's laptop. And I do have one of those iPad things. Uh, I, I got it cheap though, so it wasn't like a million dollar investment like these things are. So that was nice. And I used the lap, the, the, the pad thing for typing on, so that was nice. Because when I was, the other thing, well, I used the computers for a gazillion things, photo and video and like art related base. But then I also used them as, I'm like super secretly a writer too. Like, shh, don't tell anybody. Don't go read my book. <laughs> it makes me embarrassed. So, um, it was great to use the iPad for a writing device, but the file management system, like, I just use notes. That's the only thing I use in there, and I'm terrified of stuff getting lost, so I don't know exactly what to do, how to work that out. So I, I haven't committed to being madly in love with a tablet and moving over there, but when I, I don't know where this is going, I just... I don't think I'm a laptop person. Oh, the screen is so tiny, that's where this is going. So I was borrowing my friend's laptop and it was a 17-incher, which Apple doesn't make anymore. And I'm like, come on guys, don't you wanna look at a big screen? And when I got back home, I was like, oh my God, 27 inches, oh, I love you. I love you, love you. <laughs> so uh, I definitely had a, a sad love affair with those tiny little computers or laptops. 17 inches is the biggest laptop, I think. They, did they used to make 19s or not? Because, I don't know. But Apple only makes 15s, and I had a 15. I was like, this thing is so tiny. See, it's stinging at me. It says, Jenna, I need you to pay attention to me. Okay, computer, I will come back to you. Mwah. Please don't die on me. Please don't screen ghost. Please don't make me get a laptop. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> Have a great day. And enjoy. Bye-bye.